Changing the membrane. Open lid. First unplug the oxygen probe. Lift the cuvette out of the slot. Drain the water in the cuvette. Remove the probe. The o-ring may get stuck. Pull it out with a q-tip or a small screwdriver. Never touch the tip of the membrane. Unscrew the membrane from the probe. Thoroughly dry off the probe. On a flat surface, lightly press down on the abrasive pad. Rub in a circular motion, letting the abrasive do most of the work. On a slight angle, lightly round the edges, rotating as you rub. Only use distilled or DI water to clean the probe. Never get water in this area. Clean the tip with water. Thoroughly dry off the probe. Fill up the membrane to the top of the indent shown here. Using your electrolyte solution, put three drops in. A trapped bubble will cause the solution to be higher than the indent. The best way to dislodge the bubble is to flick it with your finger until the bubble is gone. Slowly insert the probe, making sure that there are no air bubbles on the tip. Screw the membrane onto the probe and make sure the solution does not overflow. Make sure you tighten it snug. Do not over tighten. Dry off the probe. Never leave water on the probe. Place the o-ring on the probe. Careful not to touch the tip of the membrane. Insert the probe into the cuvette. Push it all the way until it stops. Check to make sure the o-ring is not messed up. Fill your cuvette with distilled water above the temperature probe. Put the cuvette back in the Hemox. Close lid. We now need to exercise the membrane. You will need to repeat these steps three times in order to get your probe to function properly. Step 1. Fully oxygenate your distilled or DI water and adjust your PO2 high to a little above 148. Switch to air and oxygenate for 20 minutes. While you're waiting, make sure the temperature gets to 37 degrees Celsius. Turn the selector switch to PO2. After 20 minutes, adjust the PO2 high to a little above 148. Step 2. Fully deoxygenate your distilled or DI water sample and adjust the PO2 low to 00.8. Switch from air to nitrogen and deoxygenate for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, adjust the PO2 low to 00.8. Now go back and repeat steps 1 and 2 two more times. To store for up to 4 months, fill with distilled or DI water to bottom-up probe. Put the stopper back on and put the cuvette back in the Hemox. You may not have to always change the membrane. You can clean the membrane with alcohol and a soft Q-tip. Never put alcohol in the cuvette. It will craze it, making it useless. Always remove the probe first. To quickly clean your probe, you can use a soft Q-tip and some alcohol. Gently rub the tip and turn the probe as you clean. Put your O-ring back on, insert the probe into the cuvette, fill the cuvette with distilled or DI water, and you're done. Your probe may be acting erratic because the membrane has no electrolyte solution left in it. If this happens, all you have to do is unscrew the membrane and refill it with electrolyte solution.